Hello and welcome. I'm going to tell you a bit about my story and I hope you find this intriguing. Keep in mind, I gained my inspiration from the Fallout games, David Blaine and the Doctor Who series. My story is based in the year 3032 with a bit of post-apocalyptic, sci-fi and fantasy vibes and it is set in a world if the magician well known as David Blaine had taken over the world back in 2021 by finding an ancient artifact and began the conversion of everyone into David Blaine. The story starts with the main character waking up one day feeling very confused and starts to wonder who he used to be before he became David Blaine. As we travel throughout the adventure, the main character, sticking with the name David Blaine till he can find who he was, goes on an adventure with his friend Crackers to find out what happened on the night everything changed. David Blaine consistently believes what he is doing is right, even though there can be some questionable situations. The story begins in David Blaine's house and goes on a path in the wastelands. He will understand himself and others and discover new things throughout his adventures. The character gains glimpses throughout the story of what happened by going to various locations and while he and his friend quest to see what their new reality has become, one man stands in their way to prevent all of this from happening. Phil. The man has no clue who he actually is either, but all he knows is that finding out who they used to be is far too dangerous and he will try to do anything to stop them from gathering the truth. Phil is with the Bureau of Blainism, which is a community based on keeping the secret behind the truth of David Blaine. Phil finds out that they are trying to discover the truth, so Phil decides to go after them himself to try to reason with them, but when they decline, things begin to escalate. David Blaine and Crackers are unsure as to why he wants to stop them and why he believes it is too dangerous, but would you want answers to a mystery over a thousand years old? Thank you for listening.